I'm going to do the TMI tag today, which um, Alicia did a while ago. I'm going to put her um, info in the little box down there. She tagged me ages ago, like a month ago, and I still haven't done it. So I thought, now that I've got my nice new camera, I'm going to do this tag. Uh, but there's loads of questions. I think I'm going to call this the MySpace Bulletin Tag. If you're old enough to remember MySpace, you will know why I am calling it that in a moment. Number one, what are you wearing? I am wearing a black onesie from Primark, and you can't see it, but I'm also wearing a polka dot skirt from Dorothy Perkins. Number two, have you ever been in love? Yes, I have been in love three times. Have you ever had a bad breakup? Yes, twice, the first two. First one, it was my fault, I wasn't very nice, he was my first love, lovely guy, still know him, still good friends with him today, um, but I was really mean to him, so he broke up with me, which was kind of fair enough, I think, but I didn't take it well. Uh, the second dude was a little bit of a buffoon, he sort of broke up with me and then dragged me along and then got a new girlfriend, but he still wanted to see me and he just basically played horrible mind games with me, but then I met Rich, so it was okay. Number four, how tall are you? I am about five foot four and a half. That half is very important. How much do you weigh? <laughs> Too much, I don't know. I weighed myself a while ago and I was the heaviest I've ever been and I thought, nope, not doing that again. Have you got any tattoos? Not now, but I've got two that I want. One I'm going to get on probably the day that we get married because we're getting married in Florida, so it's gonna be a little bit unconventional anyway. And the second tattoo I designed about eight months ago, I'm, I've drawn it, I've stuck it up on the living room wall and I'm kind of just seeing how I feel about it in a year or so before I get it done. It's going to be quite a big one, but I think it's beautiful. Have you got any piercings? Yes, I have currently got 15, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, no 16. I've currently got 16 piercings. Um, including my tunnel here, which is eight millimetres. I've then got um, nine, just plain old load piercings, although I've got two missing earrings, I noticed. I've got my scaffold here, I've got my um, forward here, yeah, my forward helix pierced, and I've got my conch pierced in there. I've got my nose done twice, my lip done twice. I have also had my lip done before. A separate time. I've had my nose done before, I've had two more low piercings done before, I've had my clavicles pierced, you might be able to see my scars here and here, I've had my nape done to the back of my neck and I had two surface piercings on my stomach, one above and one below my belly button. Um, so I've had quite a few, I think I've had something like 25 in total. Who is your OTP? I'm really kind of ashamed to admit I know what this means and I totally ship Sirius and Lupin from Harry Potter and as far as I'm aware it actually happened and nobody can convince me otherwise it happened all right what is your favorite tv show I don't really have a favorite I watch loads of different tv shows and I, I don't really have a favorite I watch a whole mix and it's normally absolute rubbish what is your favorite band My Chemical Romance Always and Forever um, I also love AFI, Take It Back Sunday, Brand New, If You're Not a Friend. I just really love mid-2000 emo. I, I really stopped listening to music in 2006, stopped listening to new music, and now I just listen to anything from sort of like 2002 to 2006, so I don't really listen to anything else. What is something you miss? I Okay, there's a lot of things I miss, obviously. One of the things I miss is being that 17-year-old emo, even though I hated it at the time, and I was like, oh, the world hates me, I'm so depressed. But these days, actually, I had a really, I think I had a really easy life. I just bunked off college a lot and went to gigs in London and slept on the streets after gigs and met all my favourite bands. And really, it was a really good life. It's just a shame I was so miserable throughout it. Favourite song at the moment? Um, like I said, I stopped listening to new music around 2006 and then I just listened to the same stuff over and over again. So I don't really have one, I'm afraid. How old are you? 25 and a half. I'm practically getting my pension. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini, but 
We don't believe in that, do we? Come on. What quality do you look for in a partner? Somebody who can put up with me, because seriously, I am, I, I don't know how Rich does it, I am awful to live with. I am so lazy and so neurotic and emotional and I'm just an absolute car crash to live with. What is your favourite quote? Um, I have a few. One of my favourites is a um, Gerard Way quote, which is kind of embarrassing because I am the world's biggest MCR fangirl. Um, but this was my favourite quote when I was like 17 and I think it's just stuck with me throughout my life. And that is, um, heroes are ordinary people who make themselves extraordinary. I've always liked that. Oh, and another quote I love is from Harry Potter, obviously, um, which is when Dumbledore says, uh, something along these lines, I might not be saying it exactly, but it's something like, um, it matters not what a person is born, but what they grow up to be. Uh, who is your favourite actor? Alan Rickman. Obviously, that man is just... <sighs> loud music or soft music? Kind of depends in the mood, but normally I like loud music because I like rock and stuff anyway, and it's normally quite loud. Um, what do you do when you're sad? It depends why I'm sad. I will usually cry and Rich will cuddle me, but if I'm sad because he's a goon, then I, um, I draw a lot. And I draw on my legs as well, I don't know what that's all about, but like normally when I'm really angry, then I draw on my legs. I think it's just because there's a lot of leg and it's a big canvas, it's just convenient. How long does it take you to shower? I hate showers, so it takes me like between five and ten minutes. I normally have a bath, I just, I don't shower unless I really have to. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, and I've only hit somebody once. Um, Oh no, this is going to sound really bad. This is the boyfriend who I talked about earlier. And I said I treated him really badly. I didn't beat him or anything like that. I was just, one day I was really angry and I slapped him around the face. And it was horrible. I regretted it immediately. I still regret it. And oh, I, I feel so bad. So I've never been in a fight. I, no, never. The reason you joined YouTube. Um, I just thought it would be fun. Like a, another aspect of my blog. Thought it'd be fun. What are your fears? I have a billion fears. I'm just a really anxious person in general. My biggest fear is Edward Scissorhands, which I know sounds ridiculous, but I'm terrified of Edward Scissorhands. Um, I don't like the dark either. I don't like. I don't like it when it's too quiet. I don't like using the phone. I don't like small talk. I don't like social situations. Um, I'm scared of lots of things. So that would be easier to say. And the last thing that made you cry, um, last night I had a really, I really hurt my leg, I don't know how I did it, but I really hurt my leg, um, and then we just missed the bus home, and it was like nine o'clock, and it was really cold, and I cried. The last person you said I love you to was Rich, obviously, we say it a lot. I had an ex who thought that if you say I love you too many times, it diminishes its meaning, or something ridiculous like that. What's the meaning behind your YouTube name? Uh, well, Becky Bedbug is my blog name, which is where that came from. Um, but the reason I chose Becky Bedbug for my blog is because that's what my dad used to call me when I was little. The last book you read, uh, the last book I read was called A Tale for the Time Being by Ruth Ozeki, or Ozeki maybe. Uh, she's a Japanese writer. It was really, really good. I'm going to have a review on it in a few weeks on my blog. Book I currently read in, which is the next question, is John Steinbeck, The Grapes of Wrath. Um, John Steinbeck wrote Of Mice and Men, which is my favourite book ever, so I thought it was time I read this one. Um, I'm not enjoying it as much, as you can see it's really thick, it's a huge book, um, and I think a lot of it is unnecessary, to be honest. Of Mice and Men is about 150 pages long, and it's just, it's concise and everything is there that needs to be there, perfect. This, I think, is a bit waffly. Relationship to the last person you text. The last person I text was Leona. She is my lover. Favourite food is chicken. Chicken everything. I just really love chicken. Place you want to visit. I want to go back to Florida. Hopefully we're going to do it this summer. We meant to do it last summer but we didn't save up enough money. Hopefully this summer. Um, but I'm also desperate to visit Germany. I've never been before. I really want to. Do you have... Oh no, last... Sorry. 
Last place you were, apart from here, last night I went to the next town over to watch the fireworks display. Do you have a crush? Um, not really. I don't believe that once you're in a relationship you stop having crushes, as long as you don't, you know, act on that crush, it's okay. Uh, my friend, I'm not going to say who, um, my friend and I have this little bit of a uh, jokey thing with someone we know and we're just like, oh my god, he's so beautiful. So I guess that's the closest thing I have to a crush at the moment, but I'm not going to say who. Um, last time you kissed someone was, I don't think I've kissed Rich today, which is really bad, but it was probably yesterday. I'm a terrible fiancé. Last time you were insulted, well Rich insulted me about an hour and a half ago, because he always does. Um, favourite sweet? Do you know what, the kids ask me this at work all the time, they always say what's your favourite sweet, and I don't really have one. I like, I like lots of sweets really, I don't have a favourite. What instruments do you play? Um, I don't really play any properly. I can play the ukulele a bit. Um, at school at the moment we are learning violins. We have a violin teacher who comes in once a week and teaches the class and I, I'm joining them as well so I'm learning violins a little bit. I played violin when I was about eight as well but I never practiced so I was rubbish. Favourite jewellery? Um, as you can see I never wear jewellery apart from my engagement ring and my body piercings. So I guess piercings and obviously my engagement ring because it's my engagement ring. Last sport you played? I don't play sports, obviously. I think you can tell that from looking at me. Um, but I obviously I have to teach PE at the moment. We're doing football, and um, the children love racing me because they always win. Last song you sang? I sing a lot. I sing a lot of rubbish. Last time you hung out with someone? Well, obviously it was Rich. Um, but if we forget about Rich. Me and Ashley from Magazines and Models chilled out for a little bit in Southampton, so that was fun.